Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world is everyone doing today? So good to see you again and thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my Alaska cruising wardrobe video. This will be like my third installment, <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and make it because I'm trying to tweak things a little bit this time. I'm trying to downsize a little bit of what I take, um, but I'm still taking a good bit. So, but with my packing aids, I am able to take maybe a little bit more than I could have before. So as you can see behind me, I have my two suitcases. Yes, two. This is a 24 inch spinner and I'll tell you about this one and what will go in it in just a second. This is my 29 inch spinner. There have been some questions as of late whether this is too big to go on uh, some of the aircrafts. You need to check your air carrier yourself. Uh, we have flown on Delta, United, JetBlue and uh, Air Canada with this and we never got stopped. It's a 29 inch spinner and it adds up when you add up all the dimensions it adds up to what it's exactly supposed to be so you know uh, to go with all of those airlines but anyway i just wanted to mention that this is a spinner i love it it's a it's from samsonite i don't know the exact name of this particular suitcase other than it is a spinner i love it as you can see here's my carry-on bag uh, for those of you that didn't see my what's in my carry-on and my must-haves video I'll put a link in the description below that you can go and take a look and see what's in my carry-on and what I like to take with me and what I consider my must-haves for a, any cruise yes. there's a uh, sleeve on the back of this bag and I've got it over the telescopic handle and you know of course I'll take that bag with me once we check our luggage and the sleeve zipper shut and I can use it as a pocket. So anyway, go look at that video if you'd like. Regardless, uh, let me tell you, show you really quickly uh, the two packing aids that I use all the time. Uh, and I will be doing a demonstration with my packing cubes and my garment folder at the end of this video to show you guys how I utilize these. Now I'm not gonna be packing up to go on our trip. It's not time to go yet. Uh, instead, when I get home, I will put up a video to show me literally packing for our upcoming Alaska cruise. But in this video, I do want to give you an idea of how I utilize packing cubes and a packing folder. More this than the cubes. You guys can figure out the cubes. I will either roll or fold and put things in the cubes. I'm going to show you the cubes in just a second. But this is what I want to show you, the garment folder. So. Anyway, I love shack pack cubes. My daughter got us these for Christmas a few years ago and they were highly rated and I love these. I think they're nice and sturdy yet not heavy and they have lasted forever, you guys. These are awesome and I wash them in the washing machine when, we're, when we get home. Anyway, this is the set that I always get. This is my second set. I have another set that's in another suitcase uh, that I will also utilize some of for this for this cruise too, and I'll tell you why. But you can tell what color the cubes are by the color of the word pack. Obviously, I've got pink cubes coming out here. I'm a girly girl, you know that. <laughs> and uh, so all of this particular set of shack pack, they come in different varieties. You can get different sizes, different numbers of cubes. This is just the one I choose. It comes with a little laundry basket. I just, with, or laundry, bag what they call a laundry bag which of course I just store my cubes in and I usually pack shoes in this going so that's kind of my shoe bag and then here are the four sizes oh it also, it also comes with a card to show you what you can pack or gives you ideas of some of the things you can pack in the cubes you know for each size and whatnot and then it comes with four sizes this is the largest. They all have handles. They all have a little bit of mesh on them. That's the largest. Then this is the next to the largest. You can see it's just about that much bigger. And then this one. And it's just about that much bigger. 
hard to do this, holding on to all three. And then the smallest one is this one. And this is the one, the size is the one that I use for all of my unmentionables. Honest to goodness, all of them. And that's including socks too. So undies, whatever bras. I don't usually take slips, but if I needed to, they'd fit. And socks, all fit. Not, now, not a bunch of heavy socks. I take knee highs, and I do take some compression stocks, socks. So they all fit though. So that's what I use for my cubes. And then this is the garment folder. This is from Eagle Creek. This is a medium garment folder. And this one has been well used for several cruises now. It comes with kind of four flaps, Velcro, that you Velcro when you fold them up. It also comes with a card. This is what you use to fold your garments around, and you can also use it as a cheat sheet and shows you all the different ways you can fold your pants or your shirts. I always use this for my tops, and this is what I really want to demonstrate for you at the end of this video. So anyway, right now, let me tell you really quickly that what, I use, what we use this suitcase behind me for, this one, is pretty much just as a backup. Uh, when we go to Alaska, we take a lot of photography equipment, and now Chris carries the cameras with him and the lenses, all the, you know, expensive stuff he takes with him. But we also take a tripod and other things, you know. Also, too, this will provide us a little bit of extra space on the way home. Uh, we can put our jackets and sweatshirts in here. I'm going to take at least one, maybe two sweatshirts and a jacket with me. Uh, you know, so that will be over and above what I put in my cubes. So they will probably lay in here. And then the other thing I put in here is I will pack one of one small cube. We have to stay in a hotel the very first night. We always go the day before. Please let me say that if you are going to cruise and if you don't live close to your cruise port, please go the day early. Cruise ships won't wait for you the day they cruise, and you never know what's going to happen on the airlines. You know, if your plane breaks down on the tarmac like ours did the very first time we went to cruise, and we, and we had gone to the airport the day of our cruise, and we ended up having to cancel our cruise, you guys, that very first one over a decade ago. Never again have we gone the same day. I'm fibbing. We did go the same day when we drove to New York. But we left really, really, really early in the morning, and there were several different routes we could go to get there if we got stuck. But anytime we have to fly to our port, we fly in the day before. It's very important. Regardless, we are staying in a hotel for one night. So what I will do is take one cube and pack my nightgown and an outfit to wear to get onto the ship the next day. Uh, that way, I won't have to open this suitcase. I'll put that cube in this suitcase, and all I'll have to do is open this, and my cosmetic bag will be in here, my curling irons will be in here, and all of that. All I have to do is just grab whatever out of this small suitcase, and I'll ask Chris to do the same, just pack himself up a cube, just one cube to go, you know, uh, just for that night at the hotel. And that way, we're not having to open a bunch of suitcases, and we're not having to grab things out of one or the other or the other thing. Another hint that people have said, and I have not tried yet, but may on this cruise, is to pack some things of Chris's in my suitcase and pack some of my stuff in his suitcase, just in case a piece of luggage gets lost and we only get one, we'll each have an outfit, you know, or something to get us, so hopefully our suitcases would catch up with us. <laughs> but with anyway, without further ado, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to grab my camera here and we're going to go into where I have everything hung up in my master bathroom. I have every hook uh, taken up with some clothes and some ideas of clothes that I'm, I may not take all of these, but I do, I have hung them up and I have them hanging in one place in my closet when they're not hanging all over the bathroom. But let's uh, go back there and I'll show you that first and then we'll come back out here to my island and I'll show you how I use this packing folder mostly and I may show you a couple of things in a cube too but anyway I'll be right back and we'll be in the master bathroom okie dokie 
<laughs> here we are in the bathroom and I think I'm looking at the right place I think I have to look right here at this camera I don't do this too often but anyway I'm gonna try it <laughs> and as you can see behind me I have tons of clothes hanging everywhere so let's get started here I wanted to show you first off I will be taking a lot of black slacks I'm not a jean wearer and I found these slacks and ladies I'm so sorry they are not available right now at uh, Dress Barn these are Roz and Alley, and these are old pants I'm telling you the poor things I hope they make it through the cruise <laughs> they've kept their color but I will take probably I don't know four or five pairs of those and then just change my tops and as you can see I am taking an array of tops and with scarves we are going to Alaska. It is going to be chilly. A little bit about the weather. Honest to goodness, it will change on a dime. It could be warm and sunny in the morning and be raining and chilly and dank in two hours. Honest to goodness, you guys. I always go a little bit prepared for any weather. Layering is the key. And uh, when I'm talking about my layering, I talk about a shirt and then a jacket. I'll get back to the jacket or a sweatshirt something that you can layer and take off and layer back on so I take those are that's three outfits there just with three tops and three scarves and then I do have another one back here with a scarf and I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm gonna take all these as I said I may I like this little pink one I'll probably take that these are my traveling clothes I have hanging here I like to uh, wear a little jacket on the airplane I always get cold so I have a couple of little black jackets there I only probably would need one but I've got them both hanging there and again a pair of black slacks and two different tops I would probably only need to take one though because I will probably wash one time so I could just wash it and then wear it home this is a cute little outfit I love these pants these little jogger pants that are now available at Avenue by the way I'm not sure when you're watching this video but if it is in the summer of 2018 these are available at Avenue these are a smaller size I've actually lost some weight and I'm hoping they fit me I haven't tried them on yet but I think that they will and then I'm just taking a black top to match that just as a comfy little little outfit I could easily wear that to dinner you know one night and then I have my two sweatshirts I'm gonna take my Scott Singer cruises sweatshirt that I purchased to support Scott <laughs> I love my pink sweatshirt I'm hoping it fits me I it's a, like a 2x or I think uh, but I don't care if it's a little big so I'm taking that and then this is the uh, one of my Alaska sweatshirts I bought last year on our trip and I love it so I may take both or I may just pick one and take one and buy an Alaska sweatshirt I don't know what I'll do we are planning on doing a couple of specialty dinners we're not participating in formal night which is nothing new for us because especially for Alaska because it's just more clothing especially that Chris has to take and we're just not into that so much so but we are going to be doing hopefully the chef's table we're going to sign up for it so I wanted to take a few nicer tops I like to wear nicer clothes into the specialty restaurants so this is an off the shoulder little jobby uh, that they are capris I think it's just super cute and I do have a picture I'll put up there in the right hand corner of me in it and then I have a picture of myself in that shirt too I just got these shirts in a bit of a smaller size I'm hoping this one is a little snug on me right now I'm hoping that it will fit okay by the time we go I still have a ways to go yet before we go so but that you guys oh and I am also taking one uh, outfit probably the one I have on really because I like black uh, I'll probably take this little outfit and then maybe one other a cold shoulder shirt with capris because it can get warm you guys it really can get warm in in Alaska so you know I want to have options you know these don't take up any room and trust me this is not a lot of clothing to take for a week cruise for me you know and I may not take everything I may not take everything 
but I do want to have clothing for during the day. And then when we go to the nicer dinners, I do want to wear, you know, something nicer. These are three quarter length sleeves, by the way, tops. You know, that's really pretty. Uh, so this is an, uh, it is a <laughs> off the shoulder top. So, but I'm taking it. I think it'll be cute for a little specialty restaurant, you know? And then this is the jacket I'm taking. I got back into this, you guys. I had grown out of it. I got too big, unfortunately, to wear it. I had worn it for my Canada and New England cruise. And unfortunately, kind of after that, grew, gained weight. And then I couldn't wear it. And I just tried it on like five minutes ago. And I could get into it. I'm going to cry. Because <laughs> I love this little coat. So that's the one I'm taking. I'm just taking one jacket. My I bought beautiful coats last year. They are, I'm swimming in them now when I was in Alaska. Absolutely swimming in them. So, I mean, it would be okay, but why take a big bulky coat? I may purchase one there. You can get them for really good prices in the, in the ports. And then I just have, I don't have this sitting here all the time. I usually have it sitting here on my, on my tub, but there's some, I still have silt salt left, by the way. Mmm, Glacier Silt Soap by Glacier Smoothie there in Juneau, Alaska. They're not open on Sundays, though. They also have a web website. I'll see if I can link that below, too. Ah, smells so good, you guys. Great soap. Anyway, usually this is just my little grab basket. I only have one. Sometimes I have two. And it just has my folder. Everything that you saw in my, this is my must-haves. A couple of other things that I did purchase since then. I did mention this soap. This is just hand soap I like to have at the sink in the cruise ship uh, stateroom just because I don't like their hand soap. And then this is my odor. Well, they don't call it odor eliminating spray anymore. They just call it concentrated room spray. But trust me, it works to, you know, take care of those odors in the bathroom. And then that's my cosmetic bag that I hauled with my, you know, that holds my brushes and my cosmetics, and that's all I'll take. And all of my jewelry is just gonna go in this little, that little bag. And that's it, you guys. My trusty cruise companion book, when the map is in there, and all ready to go. I am looking forward to this. So, anyway, that's it, you guys. So. Let me grab down a few of these things, a few of these tops, and I'm gonna grab up my folder and a cube, and I will go back out to my kitchen island, and we will, I'll demonstrate how to work a cube and how to work that garment folder. All right, be right back in a couple of minutes. Oh, one other thing, let me, I'm gonna grab out a couple pair of socks. I'm gonna show you these compression socks that I got them out of my drawer. And you know what, you guys, I did not wear these to our Caribbean cruise and I was swollen almost that whole time after flying. Now that could have been my weight too, and I have lost weight, but I'm gonna be wearing a pair of compression socks on at least on the way there and on the way home. Uh, so I will give you a link for where I got these. These are plus size, so I'm not sure if they sell, I'm pretty sure they sell regular sizes, but I'll let you know. I also forgot to show you the shoes that I'm taking. I have had shoes on my feet that I'm taking, two little black slip-ons that I'll wear with the dressier stuff. But they, these are actually a pair of waterproof shoes, and I like to wear them because, of course, they go with my black slacks. So these are my waterproof shoes. Waterproof, trust me, they are awesome shoes. And then I'll take these to fly in. These are lovely uh, from, they're like little moccasins. They are not the prettiest things in the whole wide world, uh, but they're from Mini Tonka, and I will give you a link for those in the description as well. And then I'm just gonna take my little slip-on, little slip-on black shoes, you know, to wear with the uh, dressier things. So I'm not gonna take sandals. I thought about taking sandals. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take a cute little pair of black slip-ons, so. Alrighty, you guys, I'm off to the kitchen to give you an example of how to do some packing. Okie dokie, I'm back here at my kitchen island. It's just the easiest place to show you how I do this. And I've got the largest cube here out of that set of four. And this is what I pack my slacks in. 
And like I said, I'll probably pack that little jumpsuit in here too. Although it could go in the folder, but either one. And all I do is, I don't roll my clothes for this one. I do roll my uh, unmentionables, but for this cube I do not roll. I just fold, you know, to fit. And then I just stagger them. Let me show you. I just brought two pairs out. I just stagger them, you know. Like I said, I'm only probably going to be taking, oh, five, five pairs because we will wash probably one time. And a couple pairs of capris probably just in case it gets warm. And that's, and that's how I do that. That's all I do, you guys. It is so simple. And this will fit so much. You will see when I get ready to pack everything, how much this thing holds. Honest to goodness. And I'll just keep those packed because they don't wrinkle. That's why I love them too. They do not wrinkle. I wish they were available. I wish I could give you a link for those, but unfortunately I can't. They do have something called uh, Secret Agent Pants at Dress Barn. I may try to link those for you. I have always found them to be too short for me because I'm just tall. I do believe they do come in talls now though. I should maybe try to find those. You know what I like about these two? I'm not one that really likes bell bottom cuffs on my pants. I like my pants to kind of neck down, you know, at the, at the ankle. And these have a nice narrow, can you see that? I don't know. It's kind of, kind of black, Arlen. Really can't see what you're talking about. There you go. Instead of it being like a wide leg. I don't like that. I have really long legs, you guys. And if I put all that on my long legs and my width too, I look a sight. It's much better when I have them tapering down to my ankles. These are not leggings, but they do taper down. So anyway, all right, so that's how I do my slacks. The only other thing I put in cubes, my slacks, and then I didn't bring out my, I usually take like a pair of jammies just for like knock around in the evening, just one set like of, you know, black, little black pants and a little black shirt, or I usually wear my one of my sweatshirts. But, uh, so I'll pack those in this. And, you know, as I said, my nightgown goes in the other cube to go in the other, to go in the other uh, suitcase. But this is what I'll use for my scarves. And I'm not taking as many as I've taken in the past. I'm only taking maybe three or four, you know. This red one would also go with my red jacket there, you know, which would be kind of pretty to put that around it. And I do roll these, just like that. I'll do all three for you. I don't know what I did without packing cubes. I really don't, you guys. They have change the way I pack, how much I can take. I am a notorious overpacker. I'm really trying not to this time, but even still, this is probably more than a lot of people would take. But for me, this is not a lot <laughs> compared to what I have taken. So you can see I can easily fit these three scarves, a little outfit, you know, knock around outfit, a pair of little player slippers, couple of pair of those uh, compression socks, maybe a pair of, like a warmer pair of little woolly socks to wear. I will also, I wanted to tell you too, I didn't tell you back there, I was talking about the shoes. I will wear those comfy shoes on all of the excursions we're going on. We're not going on anything that we're walking on a glacier or where I'll need even sneakers. Those shoes are great walking shoes. There you can see, that's just the start of this. I can fit so much more in here, you guys, honest to goodness. So there that one is, and I'll just leave those in there. Of course, I got it stuck in the zipper. That was not too bright. Either. There have been times when I've taken hangers. I will not be taking hangers this time. So you can ask for extras if there aren't enough in your closet. Okay, here we go with the Eagle Creek garment folder. This is a medium garment folder. 
and this is a little piece of magic, you guys. I brought out three, three uh, tops to work with. All you do is lay it down, face down, put your card right up to the collar, and then fold over the card just like you would be folding laundry. And you use the card as a template. I'm gonna have to iron this. This has been stuck in my closet since I got back last year. <laughs> I've worn it all winter. Anyway, you can get the gist of that. And then you just fold it up and you fold it right to where the card ends. Turn it over. Slide out the cheat sheet, and there you go. Let's do another one. Again, face down. fold right up and I like to flip-flop them each time so that they lay flatter and there we go one more you can see how easy well you'll see when I close this up how much wiggle room I'll have just with three tops I had 20 in here going to Hawaii when we went to Hawaii, you guys. Some of them were heavier tops too because we left out of Vancouver and the first three days of the cruise going and then the last three coming home were cold. So I had to take like this type of clothing and then I had to take warm weather clothing once we got to Hawaii. Yeah, I was a mess trying to pack for that one. Anyway, up we go, turn it over. Take the card out. And I sometimes will fold these under, sometimes I don't worry about it. Then to close it up, don't forget your, take this with you, forget your card, I just put that right on top. Plus that helps give it structure too. And close the top two first. And then the sides. And there we go. I mean, that's just three tops. Look how skinny. That's just three tops. I had 20 in here. You can see this is this will expand and expand and expand. It is an amazing little packing tool. So there we go. I'll be back for some final words in just a second. Okie dokie, everyone. I'm back. And uh, I hope this has helped you guys a little bit if you're getting ready to go on an Alaska cruise. And... Uh, I am a plus size girl, so you know, you guys might not be and might choose totally different things to take and you might wear jeans and or cargo pants or whatever. Whatever you want to wear is perfect for you. This is what I like to wear and this is perfect for me. So I cannot wait. I am super excited to go back. This will be our seventh trip back to Alaska and I feel so very lucky and blessed that we're able to do it again. So, but anyway, I hope that all is well with everyone and that there's nobody out there struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. And if you are, I hope that you have a loved one there helping you through. And I hope that you can get through each day feeling the very best that you can. I hope that none of you have anything weighing on your mind or in your heart pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. And with that, I'm gonna say happy cruising or happy traveling or happy whatever it is you're getting ready to do. And I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.